I'm a strict vegetarian. I don't take meat, either white or red, but I love this business a lot. I think it started way back in 2017. I used to stay with an auntie all the way in Bunyore, that is in the western region. So during my stay with her, uh, part of the time, she owned a kuku kinyeji, uh, she owned, it was not kuku kinyeji, but she owned a kuku shop where we received chicken from Nairobi and then after receiving chicken from Nairobi, we used to sell to customers the assorted pieces. So I think from that is where I found my niche and I decided that maybe this is now what I need to do. And uh, with this chicken business, it's something that I already knew. So when COVID came in 2020 and uh, our jobs were gone, I thought maybe this is what I know and this is what I should do. And then I received a good reception and that's where it all started. So I decided to do chicken. What I love most about this business is the fact that this business is like a therapy session to me. I mean, with COVID and everything, I mean, uh, a lot of people were so much taken aback, some were depressed and all. So this was my getaway. That is the very first thing I love about this business. Another thing I love about this business is that you meet so many different people. Some are very benevolent, some are very good people. I mean, these are strangers that you only meet and they are perfectly nice to you. And uh, just because of you giving them a good and them giving you money, but then you, you get that these people, they offer you even much more besides just that business. So what I really love about this business is that it's giving me the freedom to meet so many people that I didn't dream of meeting them just yet. So a typical day for me, I mean, uh, I wake up, my alarm goes on at 4.30 a.m. in the morning every day. So when I wake up, the first thing uh, is I dash to Mudurwa Market. When I get to Mudurwa Market, I get uh, nyanya uko, nikipata nyanya uko, nyanya bondeka, I get uh, mboga zenye zimibaki and all that. Take them all the way to Kayole where we have uh, the, the, the Kuku Kinyeji farm where we hold our chicken. So I take it there so that they eat those. I mean, I do this specifically because uh, these are indigenous chicken and that is what they feed on when they are at home. They feed on locally acquired food not feeds or anything. Immediately after that, I'm back to town. I help my aunt uh, open up the, the open air market. And then from there, I pick the orders that we had the previously. I take the chicken meant for those orders, come to, to the house and dress this chicken package. And then by 10 a.m., I'm always on the road for deliveries. So during this time, I get to, because now we are not using motorbikes or anything, we're still using PSV. So during my time in the PSV, that is when now I get to go onto Twitter and interact with my customers by giving them education, uh, helping them on the recipes, uh, as well as just giving general information to even people who wish to venture into this business. I was born uh, in Siaya in 1996, a very cold Sunday night. Uh, I was born to two very staunch Christian uh, parents. My dad, actually my dad used to play Kayamba. I know if you're Catholic, you know the Kayamba, it's played in the church and he was also a choir member. My mom was in those church groups. So also me, I think I, I, I danced in the church. I was a liturgical dancer for, some, for quite some time. And then there on after that, uh, we were just a good family up to until maybe in 2004 that uh, I lost my dad, he passed on, and then uh, through a road accident, and then a year later, I did experience even much more trauma because then I was there when my mom was passing on uh, a year later in 2005, and you know, I'm a kid, and I'm having someone passing in the house, so that was too much trauma. So basically, that is all much I can remember about me growing up with my parents, being with my parents and all. So when I come to uh, the school bit, I studied at Karapul Primary School, that is in Siaya, uh, up to class 8. I scored 342 marks. There on, uh, I was called to, a, to join a school in Kisi called Kadinolotunga, but because of the financial constraints here and there, uh, I, I, I was not able to join Kadinolotunga, so I went to Barding Boys High School. Uh, during those days, people used to get two calling letters. So now you weigh which one do you want to go. So I got two calling letters, fortunately. So 
I didn't take Cardinal Otunga because of the financial constraints and everything. So I went for the cheaper and more viable option, which was to Barding Boys. So I went to Barding Boys, I scored an A minus, luckily enough. So after scoring my A minus, and then I proceeded to University of Eldoret, where I took actuarial science up to my graduation in 2018. So from there, uh, life is what it is. I mean, we can't complain, we move on. Uh, you know, our country, uh, sometimes we have very few limited opportunities. So I've not been so much lucky to get those opportunities, but I've been lucky to get this business. Mm -hmm.